Yo, 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 what's up, man, it's your boy, sis, 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 suicide, age 29, back with another video, y'all know the freaking vibes, hit that like button when you come in, alright, let's get into it, we got Dr. Umar back on the freaking list, let's listen to him do a little interview about, you know, the update on schools and whatnot and all the whatnot, FDMG, okay, now y'all gonna hear some things, and y'all gonna be like, hell no, but you know, he always give y'all a hell no moment, so what's, you know, what else should we expect, let's keep it going, alright, let's get it going, super, I understand, uh, Dr. Omar, you have, uh, you have um, the school that you're going to open in, uh, you know, in Miami, uh, where are you in that, in that school, and um, how can, What's that? What what can be done so uh, so that that school can be here and and come to Miami to benefit our people? No, hold on. He said Miami, y'all. Miami, Miami. He he ain't even done opening school in Wilmington, 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 Delaware. So how the hell he gonna do a school in Miami? But hey, 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 I don't know. Let's just see what he say. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, but we gonna see what the hell he say. Okay, at present. We purchased two schools in Wil Wilmington, Delaware. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. We have four buildings, which includes two schools in Wilmington, Delaware, which is 20 minutes from the Philadelphia International Airport. Wilmington is in Philadelphia's backyard. We're trying to raise $1 million to renovate those four buildings so that we can open class open the school next August for black boys. And so... <laughs> man didn't, this man didn't even answer the question. His nigga said, Miami, can you tell us how the school going to be opening and be down there in Miami? This man skipped over that. Hopefully after this, after what he said, he'll say something about the Miami school. Okay? He keeps saying the same damn thing over and over. Two schools. Wilmington, Delaware. Two schools. Four buildings. Two schools. Four buildings. Two schools, Wilmington, Delaware, you know what I'm saying? It's in Philly's backyard. We're trying to raise one million dollars to try to renovate it so we can have it ready next August. I want y'all to mark that down. Next August, I want y'all to mark that down. Next August for the black boys. Anyone who wants to donate to the school fund can mail their check or money order payable to the FDMG Academy to P.O. Box. 9634, I repeat, P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware, 19809. They can also text message me on the number I gave, 215-989-9858, and I can text them the information to mail in their check or money orders. And I want to thank the state of Florida, because we received a lot of donations from the state of Florida during these past five years while we were raising money to buy the campus. And so I want to say thank you to Florida. We're halfway there, but we're not totally there. We bought the building that had the victory, but now we have to renovate the building to have a complete victory. Yes, I, 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 I don't know. Did, did he help? Did he Get my, I, I didn't hear him answer the question. Oh, he kept talking about Wilmington, Delaware. Oh, we got a lot of donations from Florida. You know what I'm saying? So for the last five years from Dort, Florida, we got a lot of donations from Florida for the last five years. But you've been doing this junk since 2004, 2006. What do you mean last five years? I don't know, y'all. Just says things with no damn proof of nothing. If y'all believe that, y'all should send suicide all your damn money every time you get paid. Hell no. Oh, nigga didn't answer one goddamn question. There was one question the man asked. He couldn't even answer that goddamn question. Tap in, tap in. I'm just tap dancing. Uh, I'm just tap dancing. I've been following you for many years now, and all the uh, 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 all the uh, talk, all the information that you're pouring on us, you know, I've gathered. But for those who haven't uh, heard of you or who don't know anything about the school, what would you say? Um, why is it important? Why is why is it so important for 
uh, any boy or any child to go to your school instead of any other school? Why? What makes your school um, different or so important to the point where they are uh, they need to come to your school uh, when it's open here in Miami or wherever that the schools are? I'm a two reactionary reasons and two pro-actionary reasons to why my school is better or will be better than any school they or their children ever attended. Reactionary reason, there won't be no white folks. There won't be no white racist teachers. There won't be no special education. There won't be no out-of-school suspension. There won't be no ADHD. There won't be no psychiatric medication. There won't be no Christopher Columbus, no Helen Keller, no Anne Frank, and no worship of white people. Those are the reactionary reasons. Now let's talk about the proactionary reasons. The Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey are the international... Leadership Academy for Pan African Excellence will be the first school in the United States where black boys are taught in the art of leadership, manhood, and nation building. We have never had a school. A school in America. It's going to be policy. It's going to, the only school in America is going to talk about manhood, something, something, and nation building. Oh, man, let's keep it going, man. Where black boys were taught revolutionary pan African nationalism as a subject. We have never. Pan African revolutionary, 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 every, all the isms with the revolution, revolutionary. Each, it ain't never, it ain't never been one of them. Even though we can't be paid taxes in school, they be paid the teachers to be. cannot run off donations, everybody. It just will not work. <laughs> I had a school where black boys were taught manhood as a subject. We have never had a school where black boys were taught white supremacy as a subject. Oh, man, he won't tell me you supremacy as a subject, too. Okay, keep it going, friend. We have never had a school where black boys have been taught the art of nation building, the organizing and elevation of African people for liberation. No school has ever delivered that type of curriculum to black boys, and we will be the first. What makes us different, we do not exist to get your child accepted into college. We do not exist so your child can go and work for white people. We exist so that your son can build and create his 
own self-sustaining political. economic empire. The SDMG Academy is an academy to turn black boys into black gods. Anything Excellent. less than that, we have failed them. Well, um... The message is clear and we got it and as you were talking there are some people that are calling me and they were saying uh, how um, awesome it is that the information that you're bringing uh, that you brought to them it's very important and they take a note and I, I always talk about that but again I felt like I had to have you on new generation show and this show um, we normally do it in Creole English but of course you know I have English speakers so we have to uh, so you do it in English, but of course they understand. Um, but uh, it's important, it's very important that t for me, you know, personally, uh, that I had, I had to have you here. And I want to let you know, and I know you're, you're a well-rounded, you know, person that you can talk on every subject and you are well-rounded in every area. So new generation, so as long as we are on the air, you can consider this your home. You know, whenever you want to come in and out from time to time, whatever other discussion that we need uh, help, uh, we'll reach out for you. Because uh, when you speak, I see myself in your, in your speech. So, you know, so it's like, you know, uh, the spirits are alike. Um, but um, but when I am glad and happy that you are here uh, with us. Uh, the time is running. And uh, so we have to uh, come in, uh, come to an end. In conclusion. Uh, Dr. Uma, and uh, we have thousands of people listening to you right now. Uh, in conclusion, what would you say to them right now in regards to with the, uh, the kids, the schools, and then briefly on the school? Two points. Point number one, quickly. To the Haitian American community and anyone in Florida who's listening, because my Kwanzaa tour has not yet been completed, if we can find a community center or a church or a hall, I would love to include a seminar for the Haitian American community during my Kwanzaa tour. So that's 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 very that's very powerful, and we're gonna work on that to make it happen. That would be awesome. Absolutely. And the other point I would say is the reason I focus so much on education is until we change the thinking of African people, we cannot change the reality of African people. So
cool in Miami question. He just basically dodged that whole thing. So it is what it is when it comes to that. Oh. Uh, yeah, so you get what you get, what you got. Hell no. Lifetime, he says, so I get the notification bell, man. Y'all know the guys. Okay, talk